again. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Lynn and I just completed this project last night. I was actually up until two in the morning finishing it because I was just so excited to kind of see it um, all complete. And um, before I start using it, I wanted to actually uh, film this showcase. This is actually for me. It's got my initials and everything. And it is a um, DIY disc bound planner notebook and there are lots of planners on the market they're not even too super expensive especially if you're willing to wait for sales and whatnot or coupons and so um you know there's there's lots available on the market to choose from however the nice thing about making your own is that you can really customize it to to your needs and i don't plan to use this as a like a daily planner or anything like that this is more of my craft planner, brainstorm, sketch, notebook, all in one. So um, let me go ahead and talk through some of the um, features of this. It was a really fun project because I feel like I um, had the opportunity to just do a little bit of everything. Um, and so I am looking forward to every month having um, a little bit more to kind of add to this. And so First off, on the cover here, I've got this new uh, hot foil stamp and um, uh, foil plate set that I got from Crafters Companion. So the letter is foiled, but when you foil it, you'll see that there's some gaps in the letter. And that's so that the stamped image of the flower can just wrap and, um, you know, just really hug around the letter and... Uh, make it look just really intertwined and, and seamless. And so that was really fun to do. The stamped image, I decided to heat emboss instead of stamping and coloring, but you could definitely do it either way. And what's nice is that with the hot foiling, you get a little bit of a deboss where it's recessed, where the foil, silver foil is. And then with heat embossing, that's a little bit raised and has a little bit of that enamel feel to it. So, um, the just the difference in texture is really interesting so I thought that was really fun hot foiling is something I'm still um a little bit new to I invested in the glimmer system and it's lots of fun it's just a little bit challenging when you're using uh foil plates and even foil from different brands because I'm sure all of the timings and everything for um each system is uh, designed and, and tested for products of that, you know, all coming from that particular company or brand. So I still am um, learning how to foil without getting, um, you know, over foiling, which I did on, on this piece here. But, um, but that's one of the reasons why I wanted to actually make my own um, DIY notebook and uh, because it gives me an opportunity to actually, you know, try out some of these, um, things that I'm just not, you know, as good at. And, and for that reason, maybe I don't think to do it on a card that I plan to give out. So the notebook itself is going to be a great opportunity to also just test techniques and, and get practice at it so that I do get good enough. Um, in my mind anyways. <laughs> okay, so then um, flipping into, oh, the cover is from a uh, Kaisercraft uh, 12 by 12 paper pad. And anything, any products that I mentioned, I'll, um, if they're still available for sale, I'll link to them in the description box below. Um, and then if I didn't already mention it, I do have a tutorial video showing how I made this. If any of these features I talk about are things that you're curious to see, uh, go ahead and check out my tutorial video. So I've got a little bit of an elastic band closure. I'll talk more about that um, at the end. I just want to fl start flipping into my um, planner here. So on this um, inside front cover, I did some single-sided lamination. So this inside cover piece and the inside back cover were laminated together, um, but only on the side that is visible. So on the back side of this pattern paper, it's still just paper, which is great because that's what allowed me to really have it be a really nice good stick to the front pieces. So 
ultimately my cover here is three layers of paper slash cardstock. So I've got pattern paper, 120 pound cardstock, pattern paper, and then the uh, laminate um, covering. So that I thought was um, a pretty fun technique that I don't do all that often. So again, just taking this as an opportunity to do some of the things that I, I just don't do all that often. Um, another being creating these um, uh, clear pockets, which I think is really cool, just using some laminating sheets. And what's nice about this is that if your pockets are empty, then clearly you can you can still appreciate all of that beautiful pattern paper. Um, but it's also an opportunity to kind of fill it with things just for decorative purposes, maybe put some inspiration in there. Um, and so I think that's kind of fun too. So instead of covering all that up, having it be an opportunity to showcase other other items. This is a bookmark that was a little bit of a uh, oopsies. I uh, was done laminating and just went into automatic, you know, trim down your laminated item and accidentally trimmed off more than I needed to. And you'll see, um, you'll see what uh, what I was intending to do <laughs> um, a little later on when I get to that point. But I have been wanting to use these uh, Crafters Companion Peekaboo die sets, Stampin' die sets, for a while now. I've had them for probably um, maybe over a year. I don't know. But I got the full everyday set of Peekaboo characters and the holiday or Christmas um, characters as well. Last year for Christmas, I did craft with the Christmas set, but I hadn't yet used the everyday set. And... Uh, of course, the dog was the first one I chose because I currently have two dogs. So super cute. I just think it's really adorable to have the the image from behind. Um, just really, really cute. I love it. Um, then I've got just a really simple um, uh, title page, I suppose. But really, I just took it as an opportunity to get some more practice in with the hot foiling. Especially since this is a hot foil plate that... I want to use on some Christmas presents this year. So I want to get some practice in so I know what's the best foil to use, what's the best paper, so that I get that really locked down um, and have that be like a perfect combination because it's um, uh, a few things that uh, that I want to make using this. And so it's going to benefit me a lot if I can really figure out the best um, uh, combo for that. So getting in a low practice now is kind of nice. Then moving into my actual monthly spread. So my thought is that I'm not I'm not so kind of particular about making this match, you know, the season. It's a different opportunity to do that. I took this as an opportunity to just use up some pattern paper from my stash, use up some scraps. So I found some scraps and everything and um, created this uh, two page monthly spread. On the front here, I've just got some papers from an old Crafter's Companion box kit. I did some more hot foiling to um, get October onto the tab. The tab itself, I used the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board to create that. Oh, I forgot. I also used the We Are Memory Keepers planner punch board to actually punch out the um, the the little mushroom punches to fit this into a uh, disc bound system and this uh, October is spelled out with an um, a spellbinders alphabet die set I'm a sucker for alphabet die sets so I figure this is a really good way of like you know circulating some of my different alphabet die sets into um, uh, my crafting and and putting them through their pieces a little bit. So thought it was fun to uh, carve out an opportunity to get those craft supplies um, out of their packaging. Then I've got um, some uh, just words that, you know, I want to keep in mind, be mindful of. Um, for example, care is just, you know, the thought around that is more just self-care, like rem remembering to take care of myself, eat a little bit healthier, exercise a little bit more, take a little time for myself. And that's the other reason for this whole DIY um, planner is to to make something for myself, to craft 
for myself. Um, obviously, the organization of it and everything is uh, serving a practical uh, purpose. But I think every month, getting to decorate the you know monthly divider, making some additional um, maybe fun things to decorate with. I didn't really go to town um, with this first one, but certainly I, I have a lot in my stash that I could definitely um, you know pull from. So so I think that'll be really a fun opportunity to and it's a small project too so it's not like it's it's one that's going to take a lot of um thinking or planning it's just going to be um you know fun and and spontaneous so uh so uh, similarly you know the other words will have you know do have some meaning for for what purpose I um am hoping for and flipping into the um, monthly two-page spread, all I did was I just uh, printed this out on 65-pound cardstock, cover weight cardstock, but I printed it using my laser printer so that I could do some foiling with my laminator. So you can see how that gold foiling kind of catches the light there. And um, I don't do a lot of foiling with my laminator because I've invested in um, the hot foiling system, which I think tends to give you a better result. But um, but what's nice about the um, kind of printing with a laser printer and, and foiling with a laminator is that I, I do have a lot of, um, maybe not a lot, but I do have some digital downloads and being able to print off a design uh, of my own or, or one I've purchased or a freebie that I've gotten and then foil it is is kind of nice. So lots of flexibility, lots of um, opportunities there to be creative um, in designing just the, the two months you know printed spread as well. And even though I have moved over, well, I wouldn't say like moved over as if I've abandoned, you know, uh, uh, transfer foiling, but I still have a lot of transfer foil, and since you can't use the um, intermix the two uh, foils with different foiling systems, um, you know all that all that transfer foil can't be used with the glimmer machine, for example. And so I still want to use it up. I don't want it to just sit in my uh, craft room. And so um, you know, giving myself a little opportunity every month, as little as it is, it's still it's still making use of things in my craft room, which um, which I'm always happy about because I don't want things to sit forever. And to make my dividers, you know, a little bit more substantial, um, you know, this is 65 pound cover weight cardstock backed with um, 80 pound um, paper, so that it's a little bit a little bit thicker, especially since the rest is filled with just uh, copy paper, lightweight. And I've just got a simple um, pocket on the back here. Then um, the, this I also just printed out. So it's my checklist for every time I um, have a video idea. So uh, all the major things that I need to do. Um, I'm working on, I'm always working on multiple projects. And things are in different um, phases. <laughs> so I don't always start and end. Uh, I don't always end projects um, in the same order that I start them. There are things that I've started months ago that I still haven't finished. And so it's kind of nice to actually be able to track where everything is at. And um, what's nice about the disk bound system is that if I start, let's say, a project in October, but I'm not done yet, it's not finished in October, I can just pull out this sheet and all of the brainstorming notes and whatnot, sketches, all of that good stuff, pull all of that out and then just move it to November so that I just don't lose track of all of these projects that are, you know, mid progress. So I, I really, um, I definitely knew I wanted to use the disk bound system for that reason, because I have multiple various um, notebooks with different ideas here or there. Sometimes it's just scratch paper that I'm scrawling on. <laughs> so having an, a single place to organize and plan and, um, you know, put um, dates, you know, on a calendar, it's it's going to really um, be helpful, I hope, anyways. 
So, um, so there's that. And then it's just blank pages so that I can sketch and, and write, um, ideas down. And one thing that's, again, nice with this being a, um, disbound system is that, you know, maybe I just have an idea that for a project that I'm not ready to start on, but I can just maybe tuck that away. So maybe I'll create like a section, a brainstorm section or a future project section or something where if I have an idea for something, not ready to start on that yet, or it's just not a fully formed idea, I can just pull out that page, stick it in, you know, whatever, um, to be de determined section of my, uh, planner notebook later, I can just revisit that and, um, and then, you know, uh, pull out some ideas from there. And then this is what the bookmark was, um, meant to, um, look like. So it was meant to actually have this extra piece of plastic here, that I could um, punch the the little mushroom punch through in order for it to actually secure into um, the notebook, so that you can you can truly kind of move it around. And it, the the cat is just so adorable. Um, I positioned it so that it really it just lines up perfectly with the page and looks like it's just peeking right over top of the page. It makes me smile every time I, I see it because I used to have an orange tabby cat. So every time I have a stamped image of a cat, I always color I always color it orange. So these just these peekaboo characters are just so adorable. Um and so there's that and this does match all of the pattern papers that I used um, on my October divider here. So what I might do is every month maybe you know come up with something different to use as a bookmark and and theme it you know to however however I've decorated the monthly uh, divider. So again, just more opportunities to craft and um, and explore different ideas. Um, so I did already create the November so I um, printed out the November calendar I haven't decorated it yet so as I get closer to November I'll um, take a moment to go ahead and you know decorate this make the tab and all of that good stuff and then same with December December is going to be an interesting month um, if you caught my crafters companion advent calendar unboxing I mentioned that what I'd like to do is release a video every day in the month of December where I craft with the item behind that uh, specific day's um, advent door. And it's a ambitious project for me in particular. Um, I've already started on it, uh, but it's definitely one of the main motivating factors um, behind actually creating this in the first place. And, um, you know, that way I can track all of the, uh, each of the 24 videos that I need to create. And, um, as well, you know, brainstorm, you know, how I'm going to use each of those items. Um, and so it's definitely, uh, I think in order to actually complete that, <laughs> that ambitious project, I do need to really stay organized and and make sure that I'm making progress against it. And so um so I think that that hopefully this planner is a um is a nice system that will help me uh meet that goal. So <laughs> we'll see, I suppose. Um and so that's pretty much it. Oh there's just a couple more things at the back here. So again the uh, inside back cover is the same as the inside front where I've got the um, single-sided lamination with the clear pocket. And I think, you know, each month I might take it as an opportunity to make something pretty and inspirational to fill these pockets with so that, you know, as I flip to these sections, open and close my notebook, I can catch a glimpse of something that might, um, you know, inspire me. Um, and then the last feature here is my pen loop, and this is made with the Sizzix paper leather. They call it something different now, and I always forget, um, but when I first discovered the product, it was called paper leather. I think it's their, oh, I don't even want to venture a guess, but it's nice because it's, um, a very durable product. It's, it's 
kind of thick and sturdy as well. So it's going to, you know, hold up to being, uh, you know, having a pen slip in and out of it. And um, I took uh, the opportunity of using the eyelets that I had to punch through to secure this into my cover for um, the closure. That ultimately was an interesting idea, but the execution wasn't so great because these eyelets are um, huge compared to the size of the cording. And so this has a tendency to just, you know, straighten up and, and slip right out. So I may, I may not even use this as a closure. It's just still, it's still a nice um, stretch of cording that I'll use, you know, I'm sure on another project. But, um, but the main reason to do this was for the pen loop anyhow, if I could have it do double duty and, and um, be usable as the closure, that was a nice little bonus. Um, but I did use my We Are Memory Keepers Big Bite Crocodile to punch the holes and set these 3 16th uh, of an inch eyelet. You, normally, I would actually um, set these as grommets because all of my... Um, all of my eyelids actually have the little washer that goes on the back. But when I was stacking everything in, um, everything was rather thick. And the post on my eyelid didn't didn't come above the um, uh, this entire kind of stack of uh, things by that much. It hardly cleared it at all. And I made... It was one of the times where I made like a, a good executive call and decided to um, not use the washer that I normally do because that would have added to the thickness. And um, I was really nervous about doing this. I, the rest of the album was complete. I was about to punch some holes into my cover and, um, and you know, I'd already done the single sided lamination and all of that business and punched all of everything and if I messed up here with um setting these eyelids I basically would you know have to kind of remake the whole back cover <laughs> so it was one of those things where I was working very slowly to make sure I didn't make any mistakes but uh, when it came time to actually decide whether or not to include the washer I um I'm so glad that I made the right call because it did set perfectly without that washer. And maybe it would have set okay with it too. I, I don't know. But um, I'm glad I didn't take the chance because it, it turned out really, really well. Um, the crop of dial does a fantastic job of setting eyelids. And so I wasn't nervous about that. I was just nervous about the thickness of all the different layers I've got going on here because I've got the, remember my covers are paper, 120 pound cardstock another pattern paper and then the the uh laminate then i've got two layers of the paper leather um so there's a lot of thickness there but ultimately this is this is fantastic it's um you know it fits my a couple of my pens so a couple of my um uh the pens that i use most often, this one's kind of fat here at the bottom, so <laughs> um, so that's why it looks a little bit loose for this pen, but that's because I set it to my fattest pen. And so um, that would be a tip. So whatever pen you use often, the most often, make sure you're you're fitting your pen loop to, to that if you want to, you know, at least if you want to keep your pen in your notebook. So that's my DIY planner notebook. I hope that you enjoyed this project. And as I mentioned, um, if you're curious to see how I made it, there I'll link to the tutorial video at the end of this one. I was toying with the idea of maybe doing a plan with me style video uh, where I create that monthly spread each month. If you have any opinions at all, whether you're interested or not interested, uh, drop me a comment and I'll probably take that into consideration. It may um, really just come down to whether I have the time to do it, but if there's strong interest, then I'll make the time. But I just thought it would be a fun um, thing to share with everybody, especially since it's something that, that I'll be doing anyway. So um, turning on the camera and um doing a voiceover and all of that good stuff uh may not be too too much extra work so 
But thank you again for joining me and uh, until my next video, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Thanks. Bye.